Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you uh, how you can integrate Xero with Square. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at xero.com or log into our existing account. Uh, if you're familiar with Xero, you probably discovered that uh, Xero is not providing us with any uh, options for integrating uh, it with Square straight away. So we will need help of third-party app. Uh, let's use automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. So once we are here, let's go to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations. Once we do that, let's go to the bottom left part of this pop-up window and click on see all categories. Now we want to start with uh, searching for apps that we want to integrate. First of all, let's start with Xero. Now we have to pick the second one on the opposite side of this window, which will be square. Now, uh, there are already some popular integrations uh, made for us by uh, automate.io, but if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, underneath the triggers, the left side, you want to start with Xero first. So there's actually a couple of options, but I'm going to stick with the first one. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to employ Square. I'm going with the first one as well. The last thing, you just have to hit Try It Now button, and you get redirected to automate.eo website. So you either log in or register to automate and you'll be able to finish your integration in a few clicks. Uh, we can also use zapier.com, which is basically a very similar app to automate. Once we create an uh, account here, let's go to the top left corner of our screen and click on create zap. We can name our zap on the top left corner, but we don't, it's not mandatory. So we can stick to the integration itself. We want to start with the trigger. Obviously, it will start with Xero. We manually have to pick the trigger event. So let's stick with the first one. Now we have to log into our Xero account. Continue. Organization, Mstone. You can easily add more organization into Xero, like, like this, a new organization and status. Let's go with all. Continue. And now we can test our trigger between Xero and Zapier itself. On the second action, as you probably thought, we have to pick square. And action event, there's only one. Continue. And now we have to log in to our square account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.